Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I didn't really want to come on the camera right now, you guys, because my eyes are quite swollen shut. Um, and I just want to give a shout out. Uh, today is the uh, born day of my brother, Ricky. This is the first year that, first few months, actually, that we've had to experience. He's been dead for eight months now. And um, today is his birthday. He will be 58 years old today. He was born October 29th, 1963. And I, eight months later, I want to say that uh, I still miss him. I miss him so much. The summer was not the same without him. Not hearing his voice. Not hearing him come in. Hey, girl. What we cooking? What you want to have? I miss all of that, y'all. And this is the pain that we do to each other in our communities. Because when you kill somebody, you not only kill the person, you kill a, a little piece of their family. You make my road a little bit rocky because I don't have my brother to lean on. I don't have my brother to bounce stuff back off of. He don't have stuff to bounce off me. And there's a big void in our family because of Ricky. Denise, my sister, her birthday was the 20th of October. This has been a grieving month for me, and I try to go past because it is a time to be born, and it is a time to die. And that is the most important thing uh, that we can um, we can take with us and, and be aware of it and, and keep it in the forefront because none of this lasts forever. None of it. There's a be there's a time to be born. There's a time to die. <laughs> and as the scripture pulled back Ecclesiastes three. This is the King James Version. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. Y'all know that, right? A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to love and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. All of these things happen in due time. All these things happen in the course of your living. Remember that just as sure as you go. You're going to die. Nobody know how you're going to leave, when you're going to leave. I mean, but if you were born, you're going to leave. I hate that my brother went the violent way that he did, knowing that he wouldn't hurt a flea. My brother wouldn't hurt anybody. He would. He definitely wouldn't have shot nobody. He would have had to feel that his life was in serious jeopardy in, the, in order to pull the trigger. And then I wonder about him then. I love you, Ricky. And I miss you so much. Life is not the same without you. 
the only comfort I get. My father died July 12th. I have made the video about that, you guys, because I've been suffering a lot from these deaths. But again, they are a part of life. I haven't been able to even talk about my father just yet because that's how much of an impact that he's had on my life that I'm not ready. I, I'm not ready, but I'm going to do it because as a man and as a black man specifically, he deserves his props. And I'm going to give it to him. Only way I can. But with that being said, I want y'all all who knew my brother to acknowledge him on his day. It is his birthday. And uh, may he rest in power. May he rest in power. <laughs>